what I have here is a rocket tricycle. And not a rocket in the typical sort of flames way you might think of rockets, but instead what I have here is compressed carbon dioxide. And what's gonna happen is that compressed carbon dioxide is going to leave as a gas. Now, that's gonna create thrust. Why is that? That's what we're gonna talk about today. This loud and kind of cool looking rocket tricycle works off something called conservation of momentum. Actually, I have a tricycle and I have a tank and they both have mass, but they're both not moving. So they have inertia, which is what mass is, but they don't have momentum. And momentum is defined as mass times velocity. So the system, and I define my system as both objects, has a momentum of zero. Now, once I squeeze that handle and we see all that gas going out in one direction, we now have momentum going this way of the gas and we have momentum going that way of the bike. And those two momentums added together still give us zero. So the net momentum of the system overall is still zero. Momentum is conserved because there's no external forces. Now there is some friction, there is some air drag, but it's very, very small at these speeds and this distance. So we can ignore them. And that is how rockets in space work. The rocket is going to go that way, and all the gas that the rocket is, is ejecting goes the other way. So in order to go somewhere, you have to leave something behind. If you're interested in that kind of science stuff, you want to see some more like that, please go ahead and give me a subscribe. Every week I put up a short. It's going to be fun, interesting, quick, cool science thing. And then I'll occasionally put up these longer, deeper dives into explanations behind some of those videos. So go ahead and give me a subscribe if you want to see more of that stuff. We'll catch you in the next one. And remember, Physics is fun.